Hi, Kathy Hattrick Anderson here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. What you're going to see here is me training horses off farm, working with horses and their owners that I've never met before. So a lot of times I'm working with problem horses. They won't get on the trailer. They're aggressive. Uh, turn their butts to their owners. Hard to catch. Um, and a lot of times I have to come up here. Uh, and then I make it come down here and it's nice and, and, and pretty. The reason I have to start up here is because I don't want to get hurt and many times horses have been lied to by their owners. Um, they'll ask them to move and then don't insist. The horse might turn their rear end to them. Um, and so I have to come off a little strong to begin with to keep myself safe. So I'm just pretty much speaking the horse's language, posturing, I might throw a kick at them, simulate a bite. Even if they're not aggressive, I just want them to know that I know how to communicate with them. Uh, imagine if you went to a foreign country and you didn't understand the language. People are talking to you, you're trying to talk to them, and there's no communication. Pretty soon you'd get frustrated, angry, um, and you just stop trying to communicate because nobody's listening to you, nobody's understanding you. So imagine uh, a good analogy that I like to give my clients is a bunny rabbit. If you've seen a bunny rabbit out in the field and then all of a sudden that bunny rabbit took off and chased a, a predator, chased a coyote, uh, you'd call somebody. You'd say, oh my god, that predator just ran after the coyote and the coyote turned tail and ran away. So a lot of times you'll see horses moving people's feet. And that's not natural. Uh, in the horse-human relationship, a horse should never move a human's feet. We don't yield to them. So if you have an aggressive animal and you yield to them, that's telling him he's the boss. Even if your animal's not aggressive, he might be uh, a sweetheart, but if you yield to his feet, then he can't trust you to keep him safe, okay? So, um, habla espanol, quieres algo para comer? Get us papas fritas, carnitas, get us algo para tomar. Jugo de naranja, uh, cerveza, it's too early for that. I don't speak Spanish, but I'm just trying to make a point. If I mutilated that language, I apologize. I learned a little bit in Southern California. But my point is, I wouldn't try to teach you in a foreign language. When I'm working with my clients, I'm speaking their language. I'm showing them, I'm demonstrating. A lot of times they still don't get it. And that's why I speak the horse's language at first. So um, some people get offended by that. The horses never do. Um, when they throw a kick at another horse, hide's missing, hair's missing, and sometimes a lot worse. So I'm no match for them. They outweigh me at a thousand pounds by at least 10 pounds. Um, so that's why I do what I do to keep safe. I don't have days or weeks or months to bond with them. Sometimes people say, oh, you should take your time and bond with them. People are at their wits end when they call me to travel out to their farm. So um, they need results. They need results right away, uh, tangible results and they need tools that they can put into practice and work with their animal because many times it's, I can't keep them anymore, I'm gonna get kicked out of my barn. Um, sometimes in extreme cases, the horse is gonna be put down if I don't fix it. So um, I'm not ashamed of what I'm doing. It's not videos aren't edited like some other trainers will edit and show the good parts or this is what you do if your horse won't do this. I'm actually working with horses on the spot and when you see them on my channel, you know, it's already happened. I sometimes don't know what's going to happen, okay? And so that's why I do what I do. I thank you for watching. If you came to my channel to pick up a tip or two, if you don't like it, there's plenty other channels that you can go visit. And uh, if you're a viewer, a new one or old one, I appreciate your uh, viewership and come back often and happy trails. I think I drove an hour and a half to get to this job. Um, he was one of the most difficult horses I had ever had the uh, pleasure of doing problem loading with. Um, he had a lot of defiance. This is the end. 
This is the end of uh, our session. I did a lot of groundwork. I made a lot to get him here. I think it took them two or three hours, refusals, and, and the horse just refused to load. But this is how I start every job is uh, turns to the right. So leading, turning to them to the right, um, it just gets in their head that uh, they have to yield to your feet. And most people take them to the trailer, they refuse to load, they go crooked, and then they spin them left. And turns to the right is key. And many times, just turn them to the right, you can get a problem loader to change his mind. But uh, this one was proved to be difficult. And again, here is uh, a clip of what I was trying to do uh, in the beginning of the video. Again, uh, I have to show how it ended up. And, and if he hits me with the shoulder, I'm going to have to... How difficult he was. So he might think he's wisest trainer. He did But if I go... Like, now my This young girl, um, least. This. So before I hit him in the chest, it's bad. Okay. So he doesn't want to move. He's pretty dull. Okay? <laughs> so if I want to move him, I probably have to get up here and go. Alright? Which I'm not going to do. So I'm going to indicate by wiggling that rope, you don't turn into me to back up. So it's here. Back. To the right. No different than a horse does. Ask and tell. I don't want to bump him that much, but he hasn't yield. If I quit, he wins and just starts pushing me. More than he already is. And he's, I don't remember his age, but he is. Uh, I don't Warning. think he's a baby at all. <laughs> That's gonna happen every time. Uh, he's been doing this a while. Pushing his weight around. After today, you shouldn't have to use it ever. This is only because Personally, I'm not I would not want to ride a horse that couldn't yield and, um, and that was that strong minded oh. about not loading. And if I had tried to do self-loading at this point uh, to start with, because a lot of people say, oh, don't go in the trailer, and it is dangerous to go in the trailer with the horse. But if I was to try self-loading and get up by the ramp uh, and direct him in, at this point he probably would have just ran me off the ramp. Um, not in the video is after I was loading him reliably that I showed in the first clip uh, that he walked right on self-loading. I had uh, given to the girl that was loading him and he ran her off the ramp, pulled out of her hand and ran around the cars that are all up front in between cars. Um, so no doubt he would have if I started in the beginning, done that. I'm holding pressure on his face so he doesn't get a release for rearing, and he only gets a release when he comes forward. And as he's coming forward, I'm rubbing him with the whip um, to encourage that forward motion, and also so he doesn't think the minute the whip gets on him, it's going to sting. And I'm sure every method was used prior to them hiring me to come out here. So tap and release of pressure and rub. When he takes one step, I let him look at the floor, look at the sides, 
if you want to paw. All of that is try, as long as he's not striking. Um, they sometimes paw to test, test the ground, but here he's just like, uh, what part of I don't know don't you get? And I just had to stop and then restart taping, um, but this part is in real time to make shorter clips easier to load. Um, the groundwork, uh, I didn't tape all of that because uh, it would be a two hour video. Um, but at the end of this video um, are the really ugly parts of what it took to get him to listen at all and yield to my feet for turns to the right and to be able to back up uh, by a cue. Since he had no intention on staying on the trailer when he took a few steps, I had asked him to back up because I'm not going to hold him on. So by asking him to back up at first, before he wants to, or if he decides to, um, then it, you get to give him a release of pressure when he comes on again. He starts to feel comfortable that we're not going to just uh, whip, 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 you're going in and shutting the door. Uh, once they realize that, um, then they don't feel they have to run back off. Many times he had uh, tried to take his head to the right and drag me off the trailer. Rub the moment he takes one step. He backs up. I tap, tap, tap. Tries to hit me with his head a little bit. Pull me away. Everything that worked before he's going to do. And of course, when I'm more difficult in his eyes, he's going to try harder and maybe throw in a few more, um, few extra moves on his part to see if he can get shed of me. And after all the groundwork that I did, he was still pretty committed to not getting on the trailer. very big he can hurt you pull your arm out of your socket luckily he wasn't a kicker once he goes in and commits then I hold it upside down and tap his bum and then I would do it up the rope always has to go on this side so you can catch him if he comes off so I look where I want him to go rub him first say step Once this gets in front of my face, that's when I turn the whip upside down. If anyone wants to put nasty comments, um, I'm not going to add them. Uh, if you're respectful, I'll add them, but I'm using pressure with my right hand and he's not yielding and the moment he yields I take the pressure down. So before I ever tap him on that shoulder I give a motion with the whip one, two, and then spank. Um, if he looks like he's coming at me I'm gonna shank, shank, shank. I have a little palter on his face to make it uncomfortable for him to come at me. I'm simply asking him, like if you were to ask your horse to lunge, uh, lunge to the left, uh, which is, or to the right, which is a hard way. He does not want to yield his body to me. So 
So if he was in the trailer and going, if I'm facing him in the trailer and he's going off to the left, I need him to yield and go back to the right. I'm not going to get off the trailer and realign him up. Um, and just, you might not notice if he was bringing that shoulder into me, but believe me, I'm noticing. And he's noticing everything I do. And he's obviously won this uh, battle before of, no, I won't lunge. There I asked him, one, two, move your hip. And he said no, so I spanked him. Um, don't barge through me, don't pull me. Uh, with what he weighs and what I weigh, he can pull my muscles, pull my arm out of my socket um, with all his jerking on my hand. And so when he tries to use his strength on my body, I just use it, try to use the rope halter back on him to make it uncomfortable for him to resist. Uh, and the minute he yields, my fingers on the right hand open up and give him a release. Same thing, pressure with the whip. Uh, yeah. He's just stubborn. So I'm going to ask for one step this way and then do it the other one. Go ahead. That's it. 